Hi Wax Buddies. Um, today I wanted to do a um, kind of a haul um, and review. I will kind of describe the sense to of a package I received from a good wax friend of mine named V Lynn. She just surprised me with this wonderful package um, and I, I've laid them all out here on the table. Um, and the the company it's from is called Mason Jar Primitives, which I have never, uh, I never tried before, and I've only heard of it recently, um, just because of some of my wax friends talking about it. Um, so I was really, really surprised to receive this in the mail uh, yesterday, and it was just I don't know why she did it. She just wanted to do something nice and. Uh, boy was it because uh, everything in the package just smells awesome and it looks awesome and it was just very very sweet of her so I just wanted to give a, a video shout out to VLAN and say thank you thank you thank you I'm in love with this stuff um, like I said the company is called Mason Jar Primitives and um, as you might have expected from the name it is um, really country style prim style um, as a lot of the vendor tarts are um, but what sets this apart uh, this company apart in my opinion is the packaging is really nice um, receiving the box I was struck by how um, nicely it was put together um, and the shapes and sizes and variations of the tarts were really nice and the labels so um, it kind of gives you an idea that this company has a lot of different styles to choose from um, and so I I went on their website to kind of check it out just because I wasn't really familiar with the with the company at all and they have a lot of different um, styles to choose from. Um, VLAN happened to send me the um, sampler box. I think it's called the sampler box. And it is um, just a yeah, sample box. It's just a mis myth, ugh, mystery box. Um, it says, not sure what which scent or tart you want. This box is a great way to try a variety of them you will receive a box of mystery tarts and scents and the box was twenty five dollars well it's it says twenty five dollars on the website so i'm hoping she got a um, a deal or a sale because to me that's really expensive i mean i got a lot of nice stuff but um, it's 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 quite high in my opinion although it does say the shipping cost is included so that helps but um, I do hope she knows how I feel about paying full price so I do hope she got this on a sale but right now on the website they're going for twenty five dollars for the for the sample box and um, and really you don't you don't know what you're gonna get it's just uh, whatever she packs up for you Christina uh, is the lady that runs the site so it's kind of a mystery grab bag so but um, what I got was a lot of different um, shapes and sizes and every scent was different so that was nice too so I'll just kinda get into the scents um, here in a minute um, show you the label I think this is really cute you probably can't see it very well but it's a really kind of old-fashioned label country label and it says old style candle company melting tart I thought that was cute and so on these, um, on these, um, it, some companies call them scent shots, um, but this is the big, large two ounce. So uh, whenever I get a, a tart this size in the two ounce cups, I cut them in half because a Yankee tart is less than um, an ounce. So you cut these in half, and it, you know it's still about the size of a Yankee tart. So last night I tried this one. It was the first one I tried, and it's called Cupboard Sweet Cakes. I know that's kind of blurry, but um, Cupboard Sweet Cakes. So um, and I cut it in half, and it was it's still pretty big. So 
as you can see this the wax is really really soft it's soy wax so um, like I was talking about in the um, other video with the tart warmers that you could probably get away with melting this in a Cincy warmer or one of the um, lower wattage tart warmers so um, this one smells really good it's covered sweet cakes and I really enjoyed it it was a sweet kind of vanilla base I would say um, bakery scent and there were, were some spices mixed in there and um, but it was it was all in all a pretty mellow vanilla um, cake scent with some with some spice notes in the background um, and it was very strong um, I'd say it lasted about well I don't know maybe I I don't know how long it lasted because I did fall asleep it was in my electric warmer and I fell asleep with it on last night and it was still still going it had faded but it was still detectable um, when I went to sleep and I'm kind of talking quietly because I feel like I hear people in the hall and I feel like <laughs> I feel like they can hear me and they're judging me they're silently judging me in the hall so that, <laughs> that if you're like why is he kind of whispering that's kind of that's why because I feel like a goober but anyways okay I digress um, the next one I have is caramel Johnny cakes and let's give this one a whiff this one is nice um, the website describes it as a pancake type scent with caramel notes and um, and I, I guess that's I kinda smell the pancake it definitely smells good um, it's very rich smelling um, pineapple coconut this one is really nice last night my partner was laying there and um, I was like just putting tarts up to his nose and I'm like what does this smell like to you and yeah um, but I didn't tell him the scent and he um, he actually described this one as as coconut and orange um, so he almost had it right it's pineapple coconut so you can definitely smell the coconut and um, kind of a bright fruit smell too with it the next one is a scent that a lot of vendors have it's hill hillbilly homebrew mmm I love hillbilly homebrew it's a very spicy um, scent uh, I can't describe it that well um, it smells like a mixture of different scents there's definitely cinnamon in it but I think all spice and clove and nutmeg and just all the kind of spicy fall type scents of course I melt these anytime even though they're probably kind of fall scents um, a lot of people would think of them as fall um, I like this kind of scent all year long so I mean I do melt fresh and burn fresh scents um, too but you know I have to mix it up and because I love the spicy um, cozy bakery scents too much to only burn them in the fall or winter and here in Oklahoma I mean it's it's still a it's the end of February but you know it's getting towards spring um, we, we're even getting some early buds on the tree so I'm starting to get into the fresher scents kind of mixing in the fresher scents but I but I will you know do a hillbilly homebrew any day of the week still the next one is Amish friendship bread mm, this one is nice I have this one in Kim's tarts too um, and it smells very similar this one smells maybe a little more rich maybe a little more complex um, but it, it's still that kind of spicy sweet bread with some I still say raisin I smell raisin in there or some kind of spiced fruit it's really really nice I like it the next one is Amish quilt Amish quilt um, to me is kind of similar to the hillbilly homebrew 
that's another spicy cozy um, comforting scent and um, I a lot of vendors make this one too so it's really nice and all those there's one two three four five six um, big two ounce tarts so I will cut these all in half and so it's like I have 12 tarts so really when I think about it maybe because some of these tarts are so big the $25 price tag wasn't so steep after all um, then I got a couple of tarts in really really cute shapes this one's in the shape of a bear you probably can't see it very well really really cute just the attention to details very very nice and you almost hate to melt him because he's so cute and he's large so I will cut him in half too that'll be sad but <laughs> I mean he's too big to put in my tart warmer hole so I'm gonna have to cut him in half but the scent is vanilla butter fudge and it is amazing I don't love chocolate scents in general and chocolate by itself no but um, vanilla butter add that into the mix and I'm down with it it smells really good very rich and you can definitely smell the buttery note in it so I'm looking forward to that one not looking forward to cutting his little head off though and then there's another cute little shape it's a bunny head and it, they're hard to see really but very very cute and this scent is spice cake and I'll probably cut this in half too. Um, it smells very nice, very, very spicy and and bakery. So, and then this one is cute. On this side, it's got a little illustration of a bunny. It's cute. I guess since it's getting getting near that Easter time. And this scent is maple brown sugar. Mmm very heavy on the maple um, with the brown sugar background it's very very nice and uh, this is another large tart so I would I will definitely break that in half maybe even into fourths I don't know it's it's not real thick but it's very large so um, the next one is blackberry butter jam cookies and I also melted one of these last night there were two of these in here and um, it is really amazing. I've had this scent before from a different vendor and um, it's just so rich, buttery, and really the blackberry is kind of in the background but you can still smell it and it's so, so good. I love it. Um, the next one is Fresh Green Apple. And this one is just a uh, regular little cup one ounce cup and um, it smells just like a green Jolly Rancher or green apple Jolly Rancher then lemon poppy and this one smells awesome right now I'm really into lemon bakery scent so I was really happy to get this one and it's very very good it smells um, even though it's brown um, and all her stuff I know these like look like little chocolate candies but all the stuff are, are really dark most of them but um so this lemon poppy seed you would expect to be yellow or something but it's brown but it's definitely got that lemon cake smell to it so excited about that and there are two in here and then there's warm zucchini bread. A lot of vendors have this one. And I love the smell of zucchini bread. Um, it's a unique um, scent. It's a bakery, but a spicy kind of... Um, I, I guess it's the zucchini coming through, but it's a very unique spicy. It's not a regular cinnamon or anything. Um... I have I have a friend that thinks uh, zucchini bread smells like Doritos, and I get that. I get where they're coming from with it, but cold it kind of does smell like Doritos. But when you melt it, 
it's um, it, it's more complex and and sweeter. Um, zucchini breads tend to not be very sweet, but um, a little bit more sweetness comes out when you melt them. But I really like the zucchini breads. Mm. And then the last one I have did not have a scent name on it. Um, it is a very cute set of three and went on cold sniff um, it smells like red hot cinnamons and I looked on her scent list and the only thing I could come up with um, with a lot of cinnamon in the in the description was cinnaberry so I don't know if that's what it is I don't know that I smell a lot of berry but I smell red hot cinnamon almost like a red hot um, cinnamon candy or Jolly Rancher or something but it smells really good and um, they're very cute they've got you probably can't see it but they've got little little sprinkles on them and some of them have um, little glitter like this one has glitter on it so they're very cute the um, attention to detail um, is very nice I think you pay a little bit more for the for the cute packaging but um, they're really worth it to me this is kind of a if you want to splurge and just treat yourself to something a little more fancy um, this would be a good company to to do that um, the website is called mason jar primitives and like I said there's lots of different styles and um, and the price ranges from you know depending on what style it is and um, I don't think you can just get single tarts. I think you um, pick out a package kind of thing. So lots of uh, different packages and styles to choose from. Um, the scent list is not huge, but um, it is interesting and there's a lot of good stuff, uh, mostly focusing on the bakery side of things. So, um, but anyways, I highly recommend it. I am so excited to try all these and I was so excited to get this as a gift. It was such a sweet, thoughtful thing for her to do. So thanks again, V. Lynn, and I am going to really enjoy melting these. And if you folks are interested, it's masonjarprimitives.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.